here the, the cerebellum and the medulla. Recall that MRIs look very well at the posterior muscle. Not seen. So we have a nice look here at the cerebellum and the medulla. And in this MRI sequence that I show you, in fact, on almost all MRI sequences, flowing blood always looks dark. So anytime you see something like this, you know that's a blood vessel. Okay, so these are really the vertebral arteries coming together to form the space. And vertebral arteries are often asymmetrical. There's not this more dominant. Okay, recall that I'm really not interested in you being able to identify uh, turbinates and uh, you know mastoid air cells and things like that. So for neurology, we'll stick with brain, blood vessels, and uh, maybe CSF, things that relate to neurology. Okay, so as we go up a little higher here, of course, we still see the cerebellum. And now the fourth ventricle. Okay, fluid on all these MRI images appears white. So CSF will always have a white appearance on these horizontal images that I've given you. So this uh, is the fourth ventricle. Okay, we see the pons here. And a major connection in between the pons and the cerebellum is the middle cerebellum here. And in the base of an artery sitting here right on top of the pons. So the other two blood vessels up here, uh, these are the internal carotid arteries. Okay, so we have the anterior circulation here, posterior circulation here, base of the artery. And then what we're looking at here is just the tip of the temporal lobes. 